All right, everybody, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tutorial with advanced command browsing. Um, not really advanced, but this is just uh, something that's going to help you or help the people with some sort of general idea of how the command browser works or who have dealt with it uh, at least a little bit. So, um, again, I say advanced, but it's not really advanced. I'm going to show you two examples, okay? two examples um, it's not hard it's actually fairly simple um, first example I'm going to show you is record audio now uh, I have this as a global command and let me edit it to show you what I did so whenever I say record audio doesn't matter if I'm in a game, Netflix, Internet Explorer, Firefox, no matter what, when I say record audio, it will record the audio because it will trigger all of this down here. Let me show you it working real quick. I can hear you. Record audio. Blah, 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 blah. Test, 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 test. Blah, 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 blah. Test, 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 test. Okay. So let me show you how I did that. Now, I made that a global command for a reason because I'm not always going to be in the same place. With, let's say out of nowhere I need to, sit to record some audio. I'll just say record audio and it will do it. Now, um... That is why I say global. Um, again, global means no matter where you are, it will do the command you want it to. I didn't really give it a user. Uh, I, mean, I didn't really give it a, a group. It's not really important, but I, sometimes I like to do it to keep organized. Not important at the moment. So when I say record audio, it's going to trigger these steps. First thing I did was launch my audio recording program I use a program called gold wave so I'm gonna I went down here to new step and I put open application and then insert it's gonna say okay where do you want to put this or where is your where's your program located at so you find it find the target hit OK that is where my gold wave program is located now in this situation it's kind of different because I'm actually recording audio. I'm recording something that I'm speaking into the microphone. I don't want her listening and I don't want her speaking. So I went to New Step and I immediately turned her microphone off. This might not always be something you, you do. Uh, this is something I did for this situation because uh, I'm recording audio. I don't want her talking. So after I launched the program, turned her microphone off, I waited 1,000 milliseconds. Now, the reason why I waited was because um, my program, I'm sorry, my computer is not fast enough to do all these step by step by step by step by step back to back to back to back to back. I need some time for the computer to catch up, okay? So sometimes it's a good thing to wait. So I inserted a wait, and as you can see, 1000 milliseconds is one second and I just waited one second now after that I did a keystroke and it was control in and let me show you what happens so when it launches when it launches the program it turns Denise's microphone off it waits one second and then we're at this spot where we're at right now control in now in this particular program when you press control in this box pops up for a new sound um, then I waited half a second and then I had another keystroke of enter so at this point after waiting half a second enter brings up the new sound then I waited 50 more milliseconds and then I did another keystroke of control F9 now the keyboard shortcut in this program for control F9 is start the recording. So that is pretty much it for this particular um, 
program. Now, you're going to have uh, different programs you want to use it with. You're going to have different um, keyboard shortcuts. This is just for this particular one. I don't expect anyone else to have this program or use it. This is just I'm trying to show you a more advanced uh, command browser um, way of doing things. And that that's more than just pressing one one keyboard shortcut or doing two things. See, I did multiple things. Okay. That's it. That is it for that. Okay. So I can be... I can hear you. Record audio. Again, this is me recording audio whenever I tell Denise to record some audio. Again, this is me recording audio whenever I tell Denise to record some audio. So that's that. I'm going to show you another example. This one is adjust the temperature. Now, this is another one that I don't expect a lot of people out there to have. I have what's called a Nest Smart Thermostat. Okay, where uh, I can control the temperature in my home from a smartphone app or even uh, a web interface. Since Denise is not on a smartphone as of yet, uh, I had her uh, interact with the web interface. So I'll show you. Okay. Um, the, my command name is adjust the temperature. This is also a global command, step by step right here. Uh, first thing I did was wait 50 milliseconds. I don't exactly remember why I had her wait. For whatever reason, I did. Then uh, the second thing I have her do is open Firefox. Remember, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, access the web interface of the thermostat, so I'm gonna need Firefox. After that, I waited 2,500 milliseconds. Now the reason why I did that—that's two and a half seconds. The reason why I did that is because when you launch Firefox, you know, it's taking a little bit to load the, ho the home page and all that. So I waited two and a half seconds to catch up. Okay. After that, I pressed the keystroke control and L. So when you're in Firefox, this particular keyboard shortcut control L highlights the address bar. I wanted her to highlight the address bar. Then I waited half a second, and then I had her go to the website that I want her to go to, which is that particular one, and then I immediately have her press enter, and I'll show you right now. Look. Adjust the temperature. Oh, let me turn her speech recognition on. I can hear you. Adjust the temperature. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Now, there are no keyboard shortcuts to make it, the temperature in my house go up or down. This is doing it in real time. I'm actually, I can see my thermostat on the other side of the room reacting to this i used macros to get her to actually do this I'm not going to go into that but this was just basically a really quick video uh showing you guys a little bit more advanced uh way to use the command browser um instead of just like maybe one or two different steps i i did multiple things with these two examples and uh Sometimes in situations, your programs are going to need multiple step by step by step. Okay, and I just wanted to show you guys. If you got any questions, um, go to the forum and let us know. And uh, I want to say thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Uh, I got a lot more videos coming. And uh, thanks for watching.